Thursday, this Thursday on the 7th, Aorta Cope is receiving a proclamation award certification. Um, certification. <laughs> I just put the emphasis on the wrong part and it sounded it sounded better actually, but okay. Um, from Frederick, Maryland, just kind of proclaiming that September 19th is Aortic Disease Awareness Day. So that's going to be fun. We're going to hopefully do this from YouTube, plus they're going to be live streaming it and it's going to be televised on their local station. It's going to be like all a blink and I might be done, but hopefully it's like at least five minutes and we'll get in there and you guys will get to see it. So we're pretty excited about that. That's a first for us here. Proclaiming this aortic disease awareness day is not the audible. The audible is that usually I have a, a nice piece of paper that I can read from where I read a whole bunch of facts about aortic awareness disease. And then we formally proclaim it and hand that piece of paper to you that you talk about why we're holding this proclamation. I can't give you that nice piece of paper. It's lost in transmission somewhere. But that doesn't stop me. I don't need a piece of paper to proclaim this aortic disease awareness day. Um, that's just the formality. And having you here to talk about aortic disease is really the more important part about the proclamation. Um, the paper is nice to have, but you are really essential for this. So at this point, what I'm going to do is turn the microphone over to you and let you talk a little about who you are, who's with you, and why we're doing this proclamation this evening. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for having me. Uh, my name is Karen Anderson. I'm actually a type A aortic dissection survivor, and many of you might not even know what an aorta is, but that is the lifeline, the highway of all of the blood that flows from your heart to the rest of your entire body. Now, a lot of you probably have heard of John Ritter, beloved comedic actor. He unfortunately passed away due to a misdiagnosis, and I'm someone that was fortunate enough to survive. And so many years ago, seeing that there was a lot missing from within the community, I decided to create, along with a couple other people, a nonprofit organization that specializes in providing support and resources to patients, survivors, and caregivers during the recovery and management of aortic disease. And so we do that. We do that. Okay. In a variety of ways, uh, we're actually a globally known, uh, known organization at this point. Uh, what we have found is that aortic dissections are actually very rare. But aortic disease is a lot more common than you think, and it tends to run in families. So when in doubt, get it checked out. If you've had somebody in your family who's had an aneurysm or heart disease, stroke, diabetes, you might want to have a conversation with your personal physician just to see if you should have some type of diagnostic testing to determine if you should be monitored. Trust me, you want to avoid what happens to me if it's life-altering. But I moved on with my life and health uh, create something with a fantastic group of individuals, and all of us have been touched by aortic disease, and we really provide a lot of support to the community, far-reaching, as far-reaching as Trinidad, uh, as New Zealand, so we're, we're having a lot of followers, and we're really able to provide a lot of resources. And with me here today is another one of my board members, Terry Cook, she's also a survivor, as well as our IT producers with us today, too, Josh Hernandez. Uh, so, yeah, so thank you so much. Actually, Aortic Disease Awareness Day has been recognized as September 19th, but there's just way too much information to try to basically educate the community on one day. So we take the entire month of September to do that. So this is known as Aortic Disease Awareness Day, and our goal is really just to provide that support and help save lives. So thank you again so much. Well, thank you. We very much appreciate you helping us to understand more educate us and for doing what we will be thanking for working with others for being a survivor and for taking that experience and doing what you can to help so many other people we're appreciative and happy to help make this proclamation to assist you in your efforts thank you so much and, and we will get that fancy <laughs> and, and get it to you because that's important also 